Okay, so let, let's talk about sedimentation. Um, particles that are different in density from the fluid in which they are suspended will sediment at rates that depend on these following factors. So how can we increase sedimentation? What factors affect sedimentation rate? The most obvious one is gravitational field strength. Now, so far I've been talking about a chamber, a beaker, a column. Um, in the current um, instruments, which offer DCS, we have a vertically held hollow disc, which is spun by a variable motor. And based on the disc speed, we can achieve different gravitational field strengths. We can achieve disk speed up to 24,000 RPM, and that creates a g-force of about 29,000 at the edge of the disk. The higher the g-force, the greater, the faster the sedimentation rate. The difference in density between the particles and the fluid would also affect the, the sedimentation rate. And as you'll probably understand, if you've got particles where the density is close to the fluid density, then the rate of sedimentation will be slow. And vice versa, particles with high density will flow through very quickly. The fluid viscosity affects sedimentation rate, and so does particle size and particle shape. 